just heard me playing the new P-Moriat PMSA 185 alto sax. Now this is a new intermediate instrument brought to us by P-Moriat. Of course we're used to their sort of top end pro instruments, the System 76 and the 67R. Um, they don't really have so much in the intermediate range so it's nice to introduce a new one from Moriat at that price level. And I suppose it compares price wise with the likes of the SR Evo for example uh, or the Conselma 200 models. And what it's doing for us is it's delivering that sort of trademark P. Moriette sound, but if you like, maybe at a sort of reduced level. So what I mean by that really is that what we get with those real top end sort of flagship P. Moriette uh, models is this real um, boldness and intensity of sound with a big harmonic spectrum of fullness in the sound. And I would say with this model, it's just toned down in that aspect. The harmonic spectrum isn't as major, but it still borrows from that sound. It's got this sort of luscious laciness to the sound, more of a mellowness, I would say. And certainly actually just mentioning those other instruments there, the, the SR Evo. Um, the Evo for me just soars a little bit more, has a slightly um, kind of more uh, sort of silky sound, whereas this one just has a bit more of a, a laid back lacy sound for me, which is very nice. I mean, it does project just without that absolute oomph and big punch in the sound. So it's a very nice tonally overall. And if you're stepping up from a basic student instrument, you would notice that extra quality that you get in the sound, that, that depth um, that I've just mentioned there. So, so it's, there's a nice sense of progression, for example, if you were moving up from a basic instrument onto something like this in terms of the sound. In terms of the way it's designed with the ergonomics, generally speaking, I find it very comfortable. The, the, the key layout feels pretty good. Um, perhaps a, a couple of little minor things to point out. The first thing being, if, if I just flick it around um, on the thumb rests, I'm not so keen on these plasticky uh, thumb rests, right and left hand. Um, it, there's a little bit of flex there. And it, for me, it just cuts into my thumb a little bit. I mean, it's all playable and it's fine, but if you just want to match up the quality of the rest of the instrument, the nice solid brass there, and, and then combining it with these plastic bits here, for me, it's just slightly disappointing. But you know what, you, you can actually get these changed out. Um, it won't cost you a huge amount of money. I think it's well worth doing if you were to invest in the saxophone. So that's one little thing. Otherwise, just a, a little quibble I had was just with this front F auxiliary key, feels very, comfortable when you land on it, but sometimes when sliding up, if you catch it at the wrong angle, you can just pinch that finger a little bit. I think it takes maybe a, a little getting used to and perhaps adjusting the, the angle of the finger. And some people might not find that a problem, for, but for me it was just a, a, a little issue. Um, but otherwise pretty good, um, perhaps on the table key area, um, generally smooth, but I get a little caught between the C sharp and the B flat. You just have to work your way through that transition around the outside of the stack rather than, uh, you know, moving smoothly from the C sharp to the B flat. But hey, who does a C sharp to B flat all the time, right? We try and avoid that as sax players. So that's just a little thing. But overall, as I said, it's generally a comfortable uh, key work um, and ergonomic um, going on there on the saxophone. Uh, but back to the sound again, as I say, it's got that sort of trademark P. Moriat sound, but just uh, everything sort of just tuned down a little bit in line with it being more of a sort of step up and intermediate instrument. So I, I think it's a, it's a great job. It's nice to have some more instruments in this intermediate area. There aren't so many. Um, it's sort of, uh, there are intermediate saxophones that are nearer the £2,000 mark, and then there are those that are just a bit over the £1,000 mark. And that can make a big difference to you guys out there when you're trying to find the, the dollar to pay for these things. So this is more of the one that's a bit over the £1,000 mark. So uh, it makes it uh, you know a very interesting prospect for a lot of people out there, I'm sure. So overall, great job. Uh, I think we're going to uh, do very well with this new 185 model. Um, so there we are. That's, that's my review on the sax. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember, do subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully see you on the next video.